I just took three minutes and 28 seconds out of my day to watch your video about how Senator McCain hates Canada. Um, first of all, Senator McCain doesn't hate Canada. Nowhere in that video, in the twisted excerpts that you took out of an interview, did he say anything about hating Canada. Irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. I don't even know why you would make that the title. But I can get past that, okay? I watched your video. I watched the whole thing and listened to what you had to say. I watched it twice and I took notes. And first of all, your your caption, your little boop, what is it? In the I don't know. You said something about him thinking we use leeches. That's just jumping to conclusions to try to twist facts. There's no. He didn't say it was unsophisticated. He didn't say, oh, we're living in the medieval times. No. He doesn't think we, that they use leeches. Secondly, you made it look like he thinks that the American health system is okay, and he doesn't. He's never said it was okay in an interview, in a debate, on his website. Like, by the way, visit his website. You could learn something from it, because I don't think you know all the facts if you're putting this video up on YouTube. And twisting it like that. Go to his website, johnmccain.com. Um, one of the things you said was, quote, if you really did understand what they had to deal with, you'd be doing something about it. He is doing something about it. Okay? If he's elected president, and he said this in every debate, it says it in layers and layers of text on his website, he says he's going to give us $5,000 to do whatever we want to get health care. Okay, $5,000 is a lot of money. I don't know what you're thinking if you don't think it is. Or maybe you just didn't know that because you didn't look it up. I don't know. He is going to, like, we are going to have slightly higher taxes. Obama pointed that out with what one hand giveth, the other hand taketh away in the debate last night. But honestly, you do the simple math. And our taxes are lower than what they would be if Obama became president because he's planning to raise taxes. He said to the press before that McCain plans to raise taxes for middle income families and it's not true. It was a lie. Obama slash Biden lied and you're siding with them. Okay. Um. Quick note, you went to the emergency room for a cut on your finger. Maybe a cut through your finger? I don't know. But seriously, like you showed it to us in the video and you had to put your finger that close to the camera to show us what it was. Why are you going to the emergency room for that? That's why we can't have universal health care. We would be screwing the government. People. People go in for the stupidest things, like a little cut on their little mi middle finger, and why? Why did you go in? Did you think it was infected? Did you think you had tetanus? I don't... I don't understand. Um... Yeah. Oh, one more thing. I personally, as you can tell, feel strongly about this, but mainly because with Obama's system, he would make every company give their employees health care. Personally, that would put my parents into the poorhouse. They own a small business and can't afford to give their employees health care. So, but their employees all have health care. They all found a way to get it. They're paid pretty well. They either find it just on their own or their spouses or... They all have health care, but my father's company can't afford to give them health care so they would go out of business what would that do for the economy if all the small businesses that couldn't afford to give their employees health care if they all went out of business because of health care because of what Obama's gonna do that would lead us into a depression as severe as we had 70 years ago so more than that I don't 80 years ago that would be so much more severe do you think that what Obama's going to do based on that is going to help the economy? It... No. No, it's not going to. Obama's going to raise taxes, and McCain's going to lower them. Obama would be providing 
universal health care, but at what cost to our national economy? Seriously? And why would you twist the facts in a McCain interview? Really? Do you think someone needs to have gone through, like, lived it, experienced it, gone through the whole deal in order to understand what other people are thinking and feeling? I have health care, okay? I understand that it's got to be scary. It's got to be nerve-wracking for people who don't have health care, especially when they have children. Just, it's got to be scary. Yeah, I can see that. And I'm sure that McCain, after having met all the people that he has campaigning and doing his research, and he would have to be knowledgeable on that to form an opinion, to make a plan as he's done, to run for president. He would have to know. And I don't think that you playing a little clip and then saying, oh, this is absurd, of course he doesn't have any idea. No, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's all I have to say.